Welcome back everybody to a brand new vlog. Today's episode I think is going to be a lot of fun. It's the first ever behind the scenes of a J Stu film trip. Me, Isaac and Drew, we flew down to Florida two weeks ago, I think. And we shot a main channel video for J Stu and a Apple Vision Pro video for J Stu Studios. So we got both these videos shot and while on the trip, I pulled out my phone every once in a while, just grabbed a couple clips, and now I'm going to narrate over these clips and give you guys a behind the scenes of where we were, what we did, I guess kind of what it looks like when the camera's not rolling. The Apple Vision Pro video we already uploaded, and this Florida video is coming out like in two weeks. So if it's not already out yet, hopefully this vlog gets you excited to watch it when it does come out. And then if it is already out and you're watching this, well, now you just get a little behind the scenes, a little extra content. This is a picture I took of Miami as we flew in. And at our Airbnb, they had this coffee shop that was like right underneath it. It was super cool, super vibey. So we got breakfast here one morning, obviously got some coffee. There's Isaac. Um, this is the Airbnb. It was in this insane tower. And this is the lobby where you walk in. It was so nice. I don't know how this was an Airbnb, but this is us coming into the room. Um, two bedrooms, there's the bathroom right there. There's Drew and the views. Let me tell you, the views were super cool. It had this balcony and you could look out the windows you could see the water and at sunset, you could see it right over there, right over the buildings. It was pretty high up. We were actually on the 13th floor, which is very unlucky. <laughs> this is the Apple Vision Pro. That was the video we were shooting. So we got a bunch of scenes at the Airbnb and on our trip and stuff. And this is our rental car. There were so many nice cars there. and. Uh, I got this funny clip of Drew. There's no sleep I think I've had in months. Boy. And you feel, you look great, Isaac. Thanks, Drew. You gotta sleep more often. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, um, this was funny because Isaac has a tendency to stay up way, way too late at night. I think he said he used to go to bed at like three in the morning, four in the morning. And we've been constantly telling him, you gotta go to bed sooner, you gotta go to bed sooner. And while on this trip, we went to bed at like decent hours and we got up like at decent times, like normal schedule. And uh, I think it, it was good for old Isaac. Here's us driving, cause we stayed in Miami, Miami, we stayed in Miami <laughs> one night and uh, we drove to the Everglades to start the next video. And while we were there, I actually got this video of a manatee coming up in one of the canals here. And while we were also looking at the manatees, Isaac saw this lizard. And for some reason, he thought he was Crocodile Dundee and could just snatch him. So he's lining up the yoink. Oh, the lizard's too quick stumble. Oh, barrel roll. No luck on the lizard. Um, we went on this, we're just kind of exploring the area. And it's just so crazy to see all these random alligators. They look like logs, but when you look closer, it's like, no, that's an alligator. He's just sitting in the water, just waiting. And there's this giant one right by the road as well. It's hard to know how big they are, but uh, it was just really cool seeing just alligators just everywhere. Um, for one of the scenes in the main video, we got kayaks to go explore our surroundings. And this is us getting ready to go on the kayaks. Which was also kind of nervous because as you just saw, there's alligators everywhere. And we were all fairly nervous about what we were getting into because there was no experience. We've never done this before. So we hop in the water. This is on my kayak. We're just going down one of the random canals in the Everglades. And this was just a, it was a really, really fun event. There was all these 
um, cool birds in the trees and these cypress trees looked really cool and the water was actually super clear so you could see all the way down to the bottom and there's a cool turtle sitting on a log Isaac really wanted to catch a turtle and then there's the first gator we saw just sitting there in the weeds waiting lurking acting sus it was super cool to see him and we tried to get closer we actually kind of scared him and he dove off into the water so that kind of made me nervous because once he disappears and you don't know where he is he could be swimming under your kayak he could be doing whatever but we didn't actually see any under the kayak i think i would have freaked out if i saw that and this is just more kayaking through the everglades the trees were super cool just the whole vibe you could have stayed out there for hours just lounging around there goes drew drew was our camera guy obviously and he did a great job getting all these shots while on a kayak <laughs> this was the first morning waking up in this hut that we were sleeping in and it was really early in the morning and there was this really nice sunrise I couldn't really get it on camera very well it just wasn't exposing correctly but I just this is the first thing I did in the morning I immediately just filmed for like the climax of the video we wanted to go on a gator hunt so that's what we did we found this place that goes on alligator hunts like legit hunts you get a hunting license and you can hunt them one thing we were trying to be particular about we didn't really want to just go on a hunt we wanted an alligator adventure but we're also kind of up in the air about like oh, i don't know if we really really want to go hunt and kill a gator so this place did allow us to do a catch and release which honestly i think was a lot harder <laughs> i'm really excited we got to do the catch and release even though i go hunting i've been hunting i've shot deer before and you eat the meat i think it's totally okay thing to do we we're just trying to think of our audience and sort of like this video in particular might not have been the best with like an actual hunt so the catch and release worked out perfectly and this shop actually does a really good job of taxidermy so taxidermy is just such a cool art and skill and this particular one right here was a desk that won so many awards can you imagine having a taxidermied alligator desk that's just crazy but they had so many cool things like turkeys and birds and we were driving out there and i thought these were bald eagles <laughs> i think they are which was cool um, driving around on the utv this whole property was just so cool i think they called this old florida so this is sort of what it looked like before they developed it with miami and all these cities i mean it's just it was such a cool looking swamp and here's drew miking up our our hunting guide paul i mean just look how cool this is it's just like a swamp everywhere the trees are just insane uh oh okay <laughs> um paul found some bananas on a tree so he gave them to us to try right there there's a banana and we had this there he is the gator that is the guy that we caught Isaac's whole goal was to <laughs> uh, he wanted to wrestle a gator really bad and he wanted to get on the back of it when we once we caught it just to like you know assert dominance I guess I don't know but wrestling a gator that just sounds so cool we caught this gator and paul said that this one was so big that even if two of us got on he would still buck us off and obviously that would not be good with a, a live wild alligator so we didn't we didn't do the the wrestling bit but we did catch a gator and this thing was massive it didn't look as big on camera but i think it was like 10 foot um like over 250 pounds of like pure muscle and his mouth is full of dirt because we were trying to pull him up and he just kept getting his mouth just stuck in the mound 
And it's kind of scary when he's like moving like this. Even though he's going backwards, just going back in the water. Still, I feel like at any moment he could have just decided, I don't like you guys, and just charged at us. But that was a successful hunt on the way back. Another sun set. So I'll snag this real quick. It's very beautiful. Um, it was like, the drive was about an hour and a half from our hut. So it did take us a bit of time to drive, which really wasn't all that bad. And then after the video was done, we headed back to the airport. This is us getting on the Miami mover, the people mover that goes to the terminals. And Isaac scared us. He didn't know where this was going, so he's yelling at us to get off, get off, get off. And then the other lady was like, no, we gotta get on, get on, get on. I gave, <laughs> I had to film this twice. I gave Drew the camera and he didn't record the first time for some reason. I just wanted a static shot of me and the Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> uh, this is our airplane. Isaac was trying out the Vision Pro. And there we are flying away from Florida, back to snowy Colorado. And you can see me filming. And that was the trip in a nutshell. And I, I think I mentioned this in the last vlog. I did get sick on this trip, which made it that much more difficult to film and get everything shot and just in general talk. So I'm, I'm glad we got it done. I'm proud of the team. And I'm excited to see these videos when they come out. The vision one turned out decent and hopefully this Florida swamp survival um, is a big hit with you guys as well. So let me know if you enjoyed the little bit of the behind the scenes of a Jace 2 video and Jace 2 trip. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do a behind the scenes one of these days of our film set because the film set is just so cool. So I'll try to get some behind the scenes of that and who knows, maybe another trip someday. But that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog.